Hey everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are proving the very cool result, the 0 0.999, repeating on forever, is indeed equal to 1. This is a result that can seem very unintuitive to people who generally are early in their mathematical careers. You, you maybe haven't seen this yet. So I think it's a really cool proof. Well, there's this three different sort of proofs slash explanations we're going to go over. I think it's a cool result, and it's important that you understand why this is true, so I hope you will by the end of this video. Now, the first explanation is really quick, real easy. I imagine most people accept this, right? That one-third is equal to 0 0.333, repeating on forever. And you can verify this, plug it into a calculator, do 1 divided by 3, this is what you'll get. You'll get 0 0.33333, and it'll go on for as long as your calculator cares to let it. So then, all you have to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 3, and what are you left with? 1 third times 3, well we know that that is equal to, whoops, I didn't mean to write that 3, but that's okay. We know that 3 times 1 third is equal to 1, and then we multiply this by 3, and we just get 9 in every decimal place going on forever. That's just 0 0.999, repeating forever. Hey, look at that. That's our result. 1 third is equal to this. So if we multiply both sides by 3, we get 1 is equal to that. That is equal to 1, as we knew. And hopefully, hopefully that helps it. If you didn't believe it then, maybe you believe it now. Let's look at another uh, explanation. This one is used a lot. It's the proof I've seen most often, and it's definitely pretty convincing. So let's say we're going to set this equal to a variable. Let's just use x. So we have x equals 0 0.999, repeating on forever. And now we're going to multiply both sides by 10. So we have 10 multiplied by x equals 9.999, and that's repeating on forever as well. Now all we have to do is subtract the first equation from the second equation. So that's 10x minus x, that's 9x. And then x was equal to this, so we can subtract this from this. 9.99999 repeating forever minus 0.999 repeating forever. It's just 9. And oh, there it is. We divide both sides by 9, and x is equal to 1. Once again, what do you know? Very cool. So this next one isn't really a proof per se, but it is an explanation that I think is helpful. So let's say you've got the numbers 1 and 2. I'll write them that far apart. You know that these are different numbers, right? But how do you know? Well, you can find a number that is in between those two numbers, right? Say we pick 1.5. 1.5 is between 1 and 2. For two numbers to be different, there's got to be some number between them, right? Otherwise, they're not different. They're the same number if there's... They're not two distinct numbers if there isn't a number between them. So these two numbers have a number between them. What about 1 and 1.5? Yeah, they've got one. Let's say 1.2. That's between 1 and 1.5. What about 1 and 1.2? You could just pick 1.1. That's between those two numbers. What about 1 and 1.1? You could just pick out 1.05. That's between those two numbers. So you can see all of these numbers are different because you can find a number that is between them. But with 0 0.999 repeating forever, and 1, what number is between these two numbers? Well, there is no number between these two numbers. And why is that? Well, that's why. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope this video helped you understand why this is true. I hope one of these explanations helped you, or maybe all of the explanations helped you. And then uh, if anyone else you know has this question, you can direct them to this video, or better yet, you can explain it to them yourselves using all these cool methods. Hopefully it helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any interesting ideas to add to this discussion, because I think it's a fun one, and it's a great introductory sort of proof thing to prove this uh, this result. So I will see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the Swankiest Math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases